Okay, here is a quick tutorial on uh, GIMP and using GIMP to go ahead and, and uh, clean up your photos for eBay listings or um, Etsy or, or what have you, any uh, selling website. Okay, here we have all the raw pictures. Okay, now I've opened up the GIMP program, which is free, and the link is provided or it's around someplace. Okay. So what you do, it's just real simple. You go ahead and then click drag and drop. Here is, let's just do this one, okay? And so there it is, it's appeared. Now, all of this pink in the background, this is actually a white background, okay? So what we're going to do is to go ahead and adjust the color so that it comes out the way it should come out, okay? And so just two simple moves basically you've got the the color you want to go to the levels okay and click it open and all you do um, since this is a white background you just click the white and there you go okay because it's been photographed on poster board that takes out all the the uh, the pink color and everywhere that the pink color it was it is now white but you still retain a lot of the shadow it's uh, or you know just the slight soft shadow to give the uh, photo uh, three-dimensional you know look I mean that just looks good okay so you can really adjust the color to on this if the actual object is lighter or darker and try to be as close to reality as you can you know if it's something that they get in the mail that they had no idea that that's what that was uh, then you know they'll just return it so you can adjust the color once again here okay Ooh, that looks nicer okay okay so there you go you click OK now uh, a lot of times the picture is too big you've got like all kinds of stuff around the edges and so what you want to do is to click this and this square right here and go ahead and mask off what you want to and what I like to do is to go ahead and you see where this you know where you can adjust it right here I like it to touch the edge of the picture and so that gives you just a real quick uh, you know guideline I mean you know uh, you have a little bit more extra space there but that can be like artistic does that make sense okay now you go to image and crop to selection and there you go all right now you want to export it export okay took me a minute sorry about that and it'll go right back into the uh, same file or you can make it into another file or whatever you want to do but go ahead and label your picture new amber or however you want to do if you're doing a series of photos try to label it so that it can attach to the the item that you're pho photographing okay and so there you go and you export and it'll ask you the quality I always just go ahead with the highest quality myself and there it is. There's that one. And to give you an idea close up, there's what you started with. Okay, that's a lot of difference. All right. Okie dokie. There you go. This is Rhonda of Green Glass. Thank you so much.